Oh, hey, I see you over there scrolling through Timu, looking for fish and stuff, trying to figure out if it's worth it. Well, lucky for you, I got 15 kayak fishing accessories right here from Timu, and we're going to check it out to see if they're worth it and if you should buy them. But first, that joke of the day, what do you call a rude cow? Beef jerky. So Timu's the number one rated shopping app currently out there and they're well known for their super duper duper low prices on all their stuff. They offer free shipping and free returns as long as you can wait for the seven to 15 days ship time. And if it takes longer than 15 days to get your items, then they credit your account with five bucks back to you so you can buy other things. They have sales for up to 90% on a lot of items. And like I said, they have tons of fishing gear, rods, reels, lures, tackle, accessories, all types of things. So at the very least, it's worth a look. After watching this video, if you're interested in downloading the app, I have a link in the description below or make sure to use my code DKH6452. Item number one from Timu is a cup holder. So they have a kayak cup holder that attaches directly to your rail and it comes in two different sizes, which is medium and large. So this is the large size. And as you can see, it's a pretty big opening and it has some plastic flappers inside here. So if you have a smaller drink, it's not shaking and wobbling around. And it comes with the attachment that you can put directly on your rail, which is really nice right here. So you would just attach this directly on the bottom and then you would just twist it onto your rail and you got a cup holder. One of the added features is the fact that it has some slots cut into the top here so that you can hang some lures uh, you know, so if you're done with your crankbait, done with your chatterbait, you just hang it on there. You don't got to put it away immediately. So this is 1098 on Timu. Uh, comparatively, if you look elsewhere, you're looking at about $16 or more for the same item. Item number two is a paddle holder. So you see me talk about these in other videos. They're very helpful. If you have a paddle kayak, then you get a pair of these and you put them along your tracks. You could just lay your paddle right in there and it'll keep it nice and secure. You can also use it for a landing net, which is what I use my paddle holder for. Uh, they come in single packs and they are 418 each. Again, as of recording this video, so it's not guaranteed to be 418 tomorrow, but right now it's 418 for each one of these paddle holders. Item number three is a dry bag. So Timu has these large 20 liter dry bags available. These are awesome for storing some of your gear that you don't want to get wet. So your wallet, your cell phone, your keys, but also depending on how much storage you already have or don't have on your kayak, this is great for keeping an extra change of clothes, a safety bag, a first aid kit, anything you don't want to get wet, but something you don't have to take in and out all the time. This is a really great tool to have and it's just $14.97 on Timu and a comparative price that you'd find elsewhere is about $18 to $20 for a lot of these dry bags. And number four is a pair of fish grips, lippers, grabbers, whatever you want to call them. Every Fisherman needs to have this, not just a kayak fisherman, but boat fisherman, bank fisherman, whatever it is, because once you catch that pickerel or that muskie or that walleye, you don't want to be shoving your fingers in there. And even for bass, I like to use these if I'm using something with treble hooks. So crankbaits uh, or anything like that, I'm using these suckers because I don't want to get hooked. And these are just 348 on Timu and they come in both green or blue currently. And uh, I mean, you can find these anywhere and you're looking at nine, 10, 12 bucks in most places. Again, 348 on Timu. Item number five and one of my favorites is rod floats. So this is a pack of six rod floats. And if you don't know what the floats are, I've talked about it in a lot of my videos, but these rod floats, they just have a, they're basically a small pool noodle and they have a slit that you just put it right around your fishing rod. And then with a little Velcro strap, you tie it down and this allows your rod to float in the water if it falls over, if you flip, if you get caught up in some branches. Uh, that type of thing happens pretty frequently. Even if you don't flip, I've gotten caught in tons of branches overhead when I wasn't looking at my headspace. And uh, if it falls into the water, this will save it from sinking down to the bottom of the lake. And for this six pack, it's $7.98, which is a phenomenal price. Elsewhere, you'd be looking at 14, 15, 16 bucks. Uh, for six of them. And before we get to number six, just a quick reminder, if you're not part of the Facebook group Kayak Fishing Dads, make sure you make your way on over there and join the conversation. We got a huge community of men over there 
that love fishing, love parenting, and love kayaking. So head on over there and join the conversation. And item number six is a kayak safety flag. Again, something I've talked about in other videos, and this one just comes with a three section pole that has a little strings, the little bungee that guides them, and a little, little flag. It's not very big, it's maybe seven or eight inches, but you just put it right on the top of the pole, and it doesn't matter which side, because both sides are the same. And it comes with a base, so you just screw it on the bottom here. It's almost like a, like a, plumbing, um, a plumbing end here. As soon as you tighten it, it stays there, and then you can just screw on the base as well. So with this base, uh, you can screw it onto your kayak or you can put it on the rail uh, if you have some T-bolts. So again, no frills, no thrills with this thing. It just is what it is, just to increase your visibility on the water. So the price for the safety flag on Timu is $12.98. And if you're looking at a comparable option on Amazon, you're looking at about $19, $20. Or if you go with a name brand like a Railblazer or a Yak Attack, then you're looking at $35 or more for a safety flag. And number seven is a fish finder slash transducer mounting kit. So this one, I'm not 100% convinced of, especially if you have a bigger unit, but if you have a smaller unit, you might be able to make it work. So it includes the fish finder mount, which appears to be like a universal mount. Uh, if it doesn't fit your exact fish finder, I wouldn't put anything on this bigger than five inches, to be honest. But it's a uh, plastic that you can just drill into. So if it doesn't have your pattern for your fish finder, you can drill into it. Uh, it does have the attachment that you could put it on your rail. It also includes a small rail for both the fish finder mount and the transducer mount. So this is the rail right here. It's about a six inch rail, comes with the needed screws and everything. So it has just one entry point right on the one side. And it has the transducer mount as well. So it has a little button on the side so you can deploy it and these little twisties so you can make the transducer arm a little longer. It's not very long, so if you have a tall kayak uh, or you're up from the water quite a ways, probably won't work but if you do have a smaller kayak something a little bit closer to the water um, then it might work for you so you see like this whole length right here is about 12 inches uh, so i don't think it'll be the case that it'll work for all kayaks but it might work for a smaller kayak so this transducer fish finder mounting kit is 27.98 on timu uh, the comparable on amazon is about 45 bucks item number eight and this is a small accessory but very useful is T-bolts. So I've used these T-bolts I've ordered before to attach miscellaneous um, accessories to my kayak rails. So if you're making your own type of GoPro setup or lure dish or anything like that, you can just use these screws to, to slide in and out of, the, of your rail. So this universal rail mounts. So this entire pack of six on Timu are $4.48 for the pack compared to about 10 bucks uh, on Amazon. And number nine is something I've used before. If you've watched my milk crate video, you've watched me use these triple rod holders. So they're super sturdy and they're actually marketed as a wall mounted rod holder, which you can do that. And it, it even comes with the hardware to, to like screw it into a wall or something else that's not a kayak crate. But if you wanted to build your own kayak crate, you could put one on either side uh, for your rods and they're super cheap. They're only 1028 on Timu compared to about $20 on Amazon. So when I bought them last time, I bought them on Amazon, but they're honestly the exact same mold and name and everything that I have for my Amazon uh, rod holders. Item number 10, if you're looking to add accessories to your kayak and you don't have rails already, Timu has kayak rails, accessory rails, track mounts, whatever you wanna call them. It's a two pack and they're about a six inch uh, track and they are pretty rigid. Um, when I tried these with some accessories myself, I had to take in a little bit with a uh, sandpaper just to make it move about a little bit more freely. But they're six inch rails. They come with all the necessary hardware. And this two pack is $5.98 on Timu. And if you were to buy a very comparable one on Amazon for a two pack, it's 19 bucks. Or compared to the brand name like Yak Attack, uh, they're $19 for just one of the Mighty Mounts. So it's not a bad deal getting two of them for less than six bucks. And number 11 is more cushion for your tushin. So I love my seat cushion. So it makes sense to grab one of these from Timu. 
So it fits perfectly on the kayak seat. I tried it, it's a little bit thinner than my current seat cushion. You're getting about three quarters of an inch of thickness on this, but I do like, you can kind of see with that glare, it has the anti-slip uh, coating on there, so it doesn't just slip off of your kayak. Uh, the current cushion I have right now doesn't have that, so whenever I go up, uh, sometimes my, my cushion stays back, or my cushion slides up when I'm trying to move back and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Ha, that joke. So a seat cushion is a win for anybody uh, to make their time on the water more enjoyable. So these are $13.48 on Timu compared to about 25 bucks on other platforms for a similar seat cushion. And number 12, you knew these were coming, flush mounted rod holders. So a lot of fishing kayaks already come with two and even four uh, flush mounted rod holders. But if you're converting a kayak that wasn't a fishing kayak before, you might not have these. So Timu has a two pack. And the cool thing is in addition to this rubber seal that it has along the bottom uh, to make sure water doesn't get into your kayak, it also comes with a rubber lid that you can shut down. And that way water doesn't get in your rod holder uh, if you're exposed to rain, if you left that out, out in the driveway or it rained on your way home or to the water or whatever. So you can just keep them shut and I do like that feature about them. So it's two of them and it comes with the necessary mounting hardware as well. The price for these two is 1018 for the pair. Comparably speaking, you're looking at 12 to $14 on Amazon. And before I get to number 13, if you haven't checked out the channel memberships yet to Bearded Dad Fishing, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, becoming a channel member allows you to see videos at least 48 hours before I release it to the public. Gives you behind the scene videos, members only videos, as well as some of the packages include swag, just like this t-shirt, some hats that I send out on a regular basis, and it allows us to connect on a deeper level. So if you haven't become a member, make sure you check it out. Again, the link is gonna be in the description below. And number 13 is a rod holder. So this is a classic accessory, super useful. Uh, for keeping rods out of your way or for trolling or just keeping your deck space nice and clean if you don't have a rod holder behind you in your tank well and uh, as you can see this is the base here so it doesn't come ready to attach to your rails uh, it comes with six mounting holes so that you can mount directly in your kayak but if you were to put those t-bolts that i talked about earlier in here uh, with probably a wing nut on top you could modify it in a way to allow it to slide on a rail and that way you don't have to drill directly into your kayak. So these rod holders are 1178 on Timu. A comparable type of rod holder on Amazon is going to fetch around 30 bucks and if you go with the Yak Attack version you're looking at closer to $40 for a rod holder. And number 14 almost there to the end of the list is a cam strap. So cam straps are also available on Timu. It's a one inch cam strap and if you've seen some of my videos before, this is what a cam strap is. So instead of a ratchet where you're ratcheting it, this is just tightened by your own strength and that way you're less likely to over tighten the straps, therefore uh, damaging your kayak. So these cam straps are a much better solution. Being that they are just one inch thick, you probably wanna put about four of them to hold down your kayak. I mean, that's what I do anyways, even with my standard straps. Uh, but definitely give these a try before you do that because it all depends on how heavy your kayak is. But they come in all different types of colors and lengths. Just make sure you're looking at ones that are long enough because you want to get something that's at least 12 feet. That way it wraps all the way around your kayak and you can tighten it uh, down really good. And these cam straps are 278 on Timu. The last one, number 15, is an LED hat clip. So has a little button. And all you do is attach it to your hat, just like this. That way it's out of the way and you have your light on. So this is awesome for setting up for tournaments in the morning. Uh, I, whenever I set up for tournaments, usually at 4.35 a.m., the sun still isn't even close to rising, it's pitch black. So something like this is awesome. Even if you just keep it in your truck or your car and just bust it out when you need it, uh, it's a really great tool to have. It's also great for night fishermen if you're out there uh, in the dark. Again, just really cool and simple little gift to have. It takes three AAA batteries, so it is a little bit weighted, but while I have it on for the 20, 30 minutes that I need it for, uh, it's really not that big of an issue for me. These are just 347 each on Timu, and a comparable type of light on Amazon for a two pack, you're gonna be looking at 16 or 17 bucks. So really a steal for just $3, less than 350, 
um, for a light that you can take with you and use when you're setting up for your kayak fishing. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel and consider joining my channel memberships. And if you want to see my top 10 fishing kayaks under a thousand bucks, check them out right here. Till next time, guys. Peace and God bless.